We just made an early morning run up to Gretty to pick up some parts for the FD. I think Dustin's here to get some parts for his BRZ. And then, well, Mickey's here just because he wanted to tag along because he has friends here, of course. Hopefully, they have some good things in stock. They stock some RE parts on the shelf. As you guys know, whenever we order, whenever I've ordered RE stuff in the past, I've had to wait like months for them. And apparently, they just have them in stock here in the United States. So, we're going to go inside and see what they got. I'm not the biggest FC lover in the world, but if I had an FC, I would definitely do this kit. Found our way into the Grady showroom. A lot of cool stuff in here. I like it a lot. I wish we could have a showroom like this for our stuff at home. If we had a big enough space, we could, but we obviously don't, but very cool to see all this stuff. Hey, Mickey. What? We can get you this jumpsuit for the shop. I already have Got some authentic RE parts, and of course, while we're here, they hooked us up with a bunch of Grady gear. Uh, so I'm gonna drop everything. I'm dropping everything. No, I'm dropping sir. everything. Welcome to Grady. Uh, I will have to pass you out right now. Dot, you're fired. You're fired, son. That was awesome. Always good meeting friends. Thank you, Greddy, for all the sweet new stuff. We got a bomber jacket, a sweatshirt, and most importantly, an Ari on my shifter, baby. Woo! So we just scored some new parts, boys. I kind of want to explain the significance as to why I'm so excited and why I drove up to LA early in the morning just, just to get this part. All the authentic Ari parts that I have on this FD took quite a while to get here, mainly because a lot of it was fiberglass stuff and I only make stuff to order, but the shipping from Japan takes months. But Ready Performance is now a distributor of RE parts and they actually house some of their products in LA. So I was able to go up there and literally buy this part and get it the same day. Whereas I went to go buy this online from another website and it costed me $500. And this is just a short shifter. They were charging like 200 something for the shifter and then 250 for shipping. I got this from Greddy for 150 bucks and that's it. Also while I was there, I picked up an authentic RE shopping bag. And then I also got an RE cap. I'm only geeking out of this stuff because I'm an RE fanboy and I've like fallen in love with doing full authentic everything even though it's a little bit ludicrous on this car. But I'm stoked, boy. I got both of these the same day I bought them. By the time you're watching this video, we are only two days away from the winter collection drop on thehundredcompany.com. Now, I want to make this very, very clear because I get a lot of questions about this and I want to help clear the air. The website where you can find the winter collection and the current website that we own and everything is ran off of is thehundredcompany.com. It's spelled like this. If you get something from hundredcompany.com, that is not me. I have nothing to do with that site. Anything you order from there is not from me and is not supporting us. We are thehuntingcompany.com. This is the URL. So if you are going to get anything for Christmas or you are going to get something from someone else, make sure they go to this URL because that is the correct one. December 1st, Winter Collection. Moving on. All the authentic boys out there will appreciate this just as much as I am. Now the reason why I'm getting this, or the reason why I wanted to get a short shifter is because when we did our new trans install like, I don't know, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, I was missing some bushings in my shifter and I also don't really like how long the natural throw is on the gearbox for the FD. And I was like, I should just go ahead and get a short shifter. And believe it or not, I've actually never had a short shifter before, nor have I ever installed one, but it's pretty simple. Just came with the RE short shifter, which looks pretty similar to what the stock one looks like. From what I read online, this isn't the most aggressive short shifter, which is what I did not want. I didn't want something like super, super, super notchy, where like it feels just kind of like a race car, but uh, I'm kind of hoping this will help decrease the throw just enough, where it feels a little bit more notchy, but still pretty stock. Comes with a new collar for the bottom of the shifter. This goes right on the end of the ball right here, and that sits in the bottom of the casing, which I'll show you guys in just a bit. And the classic instructions that I cannot read, but it's pretty self-explanatory. The shift knobs will be available December 1st. We have these in a black, red, and a purple colorway. These are the V2 versions. Rather than having texture, these are like smooth like an eight ball and they are extremely heavy and they have an extra shot of clear to prevent any scratching or, or any discoloration. Before I fully remove the stock shifter, I kind of want to give a little visual representation of what the throw looks like. So first gear is from here, and you can see it's a little bit wobbly. It doesn't really feel like it's solid in there. That's first, and then second is all the way here. So it's not that long. I mean, it's probably 
maybe about five inches or so. so let's take out the last bolt holding everything together be careful because this is going to be super greasy and gross but there is the stock shifter off the bat the shifter itself is just a little bit shorter uh, but from wherever it online this gets rid of i think maybe an inch or so out of the throw which will definitely go a long way when it's all said and done also what to notice here as well is if you look at the stock shifter here you see this like notch that notch goes right here in this knob and there's supposed to be a orange gasket that goes right there that has a slimmer knot to fit directly in that hole now mine's been blowing up you can actually see kind of part of it right there i I haven't even had mine in there. But one thing I'm noticing, if you look at the new one, this notch is actually much skinnier. And so what that's telling me is there's no gasket even comes with this. This probably is exactly the same cutout for that notch, which is awesome because I thought I was gonna have to replace this gasket, which now I realize that I'm not gonna need that. At the very, very bottom of that hole, stick like your pinky in there. You should be able to fish out a, um, there it is. You have a new one? It came with a new one. Oh, it smells like, yeah, it, it looks smells and smells like, like doo-doo. It looks like I just stuck my finger in a doo-doo hole. <laughs> You want to put this one in? <laughs> yeah, man, just stick, stick another finger in the hole. It's all good, mate. Good man. No, I'm pretty sure we keep that one bushing in okay. right there. And um, with your doo-doo hand? I got a, got a doo-doo hand. A little bit of a doo-doo hand. I still got this thing on my finger, dude. It only smells, Tej. <laughs> Oh my god. That is Is it really that different? Oh my Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna put these bolts in real quick, just kinda hold it down. And give it a little give yeah. it a little I'll, spin. I'm gonna put two in there. Dude, Should that is throw her a little bit. Because you know that gasket that we were missing in the other one? You know, like it was a wide hole for a small rod, you know what I mean? That no, that was weird. I, that the guy came out totally wrong. The notch yeah, yeah. That is jetting out. Yeah, yeah. It has a big ass. The shifter had like a hole in here, so it was really loose. And I think yeah. that's where when you put it in gear, you get that like kind of like loose notchy feeling. Well, this, rather than having a like a wide set, it is literally cut out exactly for the width of the notch. So there's no bushing at all. Oh, very nice. The bushing is just the metal bit. Much more firm. And going in her first gear, it's like just a little, just a little, just a little think, touch it. Oh, it feels, oh. And you remember what it felt like. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit, let me just get my hand on there. It was a bit slop. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, and imagine when we have the heavyweight on there. Is it the same third pitch? Yeah. So much better. Correct me if I'm wrong, it feels like a BRZ. I was gonna, literally gonna say, it almost feels like my BRZ trance. Like, everything's very precise, confidence inspiring. Too. It like goes straight in, you don't feel like you're like kind of guessing. That's my favorite. Like, especially when going into fifth gear in this car, ever since we had the last issue in the last one, I always just kind of sketched oh, okay. out. If you're in fifth and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna downshift to fourth, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's surprising on how much a shifter yeah. makes your car feel more confident isn't the word but makes you feel more confident in your car yeah i don't know it just feels good really good and it's all authentic re which is like in my heart very much worth it another another re me another re part baby i'm gonna reassemble all of this and then probably help calvin out with his car because he's doing some memes today that i have not shown you guys yet well we have been busy today calvin actually got a head start on his 240 because we're trying to get this done as soon as possible like we said no more two-year builds calvin but i want to congratulate calvin on making this little mounting bracket he doesn't think it's that big of a deal but i think it's pretty cool so if you go on this side this fender it has the side skirt connected to it but like see how wobbly that is and even when we have the side skirt bolted up on the rear end of the car freeway speeds it just looks a little bit sketchy like that thing's gonna wobble are you like feeling up your car what are you doing you could be one with the marble you have to date the marble is that a spongebob meme no oh and on this side calvin created like this bracket right here eh, right there and it's like sturdy i didn't know you were a fabricator calv i, I, know I, I had no idea I had no idea. I was a little bit worried about that. Oh, I see how you did it. I'm gonna try to show you guys on camera here. Pretty much, you can see like this L bracket right here. You smoked a hole in the front and then used the back side of this bolt and secured it and then just probably rib nutted the side of the chassis right here and just. Oh my God. Are you filming me? Yes. And your pants. That go live December 1st. Reflective, baby. I literally almost forgot to show you guys this. I also got an RE radiator cap. Again, this is one of those things, I don't know why I like it so much. It's one of those trinkets that are rare. And although it's literally just a radiator cap with an RE sticker on it, I geek out on it. And in my opinion, this makes this car that much cooler. Oh yeah. That's a nice little centerpiece right there. Again, unnecessary, but for only 15, 20 bucks, 
That is some hot boy stuff right there, boy. So before we go to New Zealand next week, I promised Sabrina we would go and get our Christmas tree. And I kind of want to get the Christmas tree a little bit earlier this year because I'm going to miss a week of December when we're in New Zealand. So we are going to go get it tonight and get some dinner and some light and put up the tree. It's one of my favorite things ever about December. I know it's not Vlogmas yet, but we're almost there. I think it's like one day from this point we'll get Vlogmas. <laughs> If you have never tried Olive Garden breadsticks and Olive Garden Alfredo sauce, you're losing. You've never lived. Uh, uh, oh. Disgusting. It's natural. It's, it's real life. Uh, Show the people what they want to see. Real life, baby. Oh my yeah, god, didn't we go to high school with that girl? I don't know. I'm not stalking through windows. That's just weird. <laughs> I was just walking. Quit that drink! Oh, I Literally just full sprints to the car. Before we get the tree, we're gonna stop by Home Depot and pick up some lights. I don't even, <laughs> I don't think we have any lights at home for the tree. I always love seeing how monstrous this truck looks parked next to small little cars. Hey, peekaboo. All right, we got some options here. Maybe we can ask if Jim knows what one's our best. Jim? Mini lights or the These big ones. lights. We can get ornaments too. These ones, 100, but we'll get the cheap ones. Because we're cheap. This is where we got our Christmas tree last year. If you guys remember, we did that one Christmas video where the tree was on the BRZ. This is where we went. I've been coming to this Christmas tree lot for probably the last 20 years. This place means a lot to me. I love this place. I want the largest and fattest tree of them all. There's so many choices. How will we pick? We usually end up picking a tree it's over from over here. Big. No, we need a big tree. Look at this one. I need some girth in my life. But you already have so much girth. Wow. <laughs> Little secret, boys. Be sure when you're picking out a tree, always check behind the tree for any holes. So everyone's always looking at the front, and you're like, "Oh, that tree looks great." And then you get to the back, and it's all screwed up. Wait, this is actually perfect. This oh, wait, little pip squeak. This little pip squeak. Do you know where we live? I want the tree bending on the roof. That's what I want. Ladies and gentlemen, we might have found wait. a nice tree. I found this. May not be as girthy as I want on the bottom, but it's got great shape and great form. You gotta appreciate that. Sabrina, what are you doing? Oh, you're supposed to wait. You just knocked water everywhere. I can't even reach to put a star on top. It's got a good tip, you know what I mean? Can you reach to put it? Oh, yep. Target acquired. Nice having a truck that literally fits a Christmas tree in the back. Come on. She's a real girth. Come on, muscle man. Oh, it's ripping. Get it up. Come on, you got it. It's ripping. Ow, God. What's ripping? Oh my god, you're dropping so many pines! Do you put this on now or later? Oh, look at this Merry Christmas babies! Hi! Sabrina, you're naked. Sabrina! Not naked, but you fucked it up! You're naked! I just cleaned all the pine needles up. You're naked! You're naked! No, it's not gonna fall. Oh my god. I can't be on my own couch. No, you can, can any of you guys relate? You can, if you live with your girlfriends? Oh my. Anybody? You can, you can. I know someone relates with me. With Vlogmas coming up, I want to do something a little bit different than normal. I want to set goals for myself for Vlogmas, rather than just like daily vlogging because we pretty much daily vlog as it is. But one thing that I personally want to work on on the videos is I want to remember to keep the camera running a little bit longer. And what I mean by that is a lot of times I just don't like record enough. I usually don't think I record enough because I, I'm not doing anything on the cars or whatever. But you guys are always telling me that you want to see just longer videos or whatever we're doing. And with Vlogmas, I really Really, I'm gonna make an extra effort to leave the camera on a little bit longer and just film more and maybe vlog miss is a little bit more of a raw style film style I haven't quite decided yet but that's gonna be one of my goals and I'm gonna be working towards that because I know everyone wants longer videos and I get it longer videos are more entertaining to watch there's a couple creators out there too that I love and they make long videos so I relate with you guys and I appreciate that but don't forget December 1st the huntingcompany.com we're gonna have the winter collection go live I'm super excited about that if you want this windbreaker beer that's where you gotta find it I will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching peace out and keep moving forward and I'm feeling